hey what's up guys today in this video we are going to look at how we can start taking appointments from the receptionist's point of view we are still not looking at the online uh, appointment booking but rather this is the flow where we will handle the walk-in type of appointments so my idea is that the receptionist when she logs in or when he logs in right they'll go to the home page and they will see the list of appointments for that particular day and on top of that they will have this button to add a new appointment okay that that is the whole premise that we are working with now if i click on add appointment you can see i have this form okay and in this form basically there are two options either we are saying that it's an existing patient and so okay it should be add phone um, and search by phone number but you get the basic idea right i can search a patient by a phone number and then book the appointment or i will start with the patient add form okay so this is the flow and in search let's say you know i have a patient Manish Savant. If I go to home, add appointment. If I search, oops, not the control F, but rather paste it here and search. Then you can see I get the patient details over here and I can either do book appointment or do view history. So that's the plan which I'm working with. So let's see what code we have written to get this entire flow that I showed you so far okay so there are a couple of files which i have changed and this is the list i'll go through all of them one by one the basic thing which i have done in the home page is you know added this button i haven't done anything else in there so if you see in in difference let me open it up like this so still we have you know these things i think these are not required anymore okay yeah so we have a template we have this divider and then in the row we have the button which says add appointment and the list of appointments will come down over here when we will do the development but yes home page nothing has changed much but then what we have done is created a new route called appointments add this is a get route okay so what happens is when i click on add location sorry add appointment i'm taking to this url where i get these two forms okay so let's see what we have done on that route so we have appointment controller add method let's open that up in here we have this function i'm injecting the request object patient by default is null because i'm sending the patient object as a parameter uh, as a prop okay so I have declared it as null by default and then I'm checking whether you know the request has phone number okay, this data is not required so a little bit of code review and refactoring is also happening but yeah first things first we check whether the phone number exists or not because if you remember this is a get URL so whatever is coming is query parameter so inside query parameter we are seeing whether we have a phone number field or not if it is then we do this validation and once that validation passes we do patient equals patient query where phone number equals this okay and we get the first result with that what we are doing is we are passing the phone number and also the patient to this particular appointment add component so let's see what the appointment add page component looks like this is going to be a little big okay but so far that's the only thing in the back end that we have done which is you know this thing and let me show you why this request has and this kind of thing so let me go to patient view patient again so as you can see this is the search and in here in the query param we are passing the thing right so what i do is inside the controller i'm passing the phone number and the patient as prop what that does is let us open it up 
Inside the appointment ad page, you can see I have the phone number as a property prop. Okay. And I have the patient object as a prop as well. Okay. That's what we wanted, right? Because now when we look at the appointment ad TSX page, we will see how things are working. So first of all, I have two props. One is patient. It is, it can be of type I patient or it can be null. Okay. We need to understand that on this page, these objects can be null as well. Okay. And hence, you know, this kind of a TypeScript uh, declaration. Now appointment add, um, I'm destructuring the two props over here. There are two forms on this page. So I have created two instances of form. One is form search and the second is form patient add. I have two finish functions. Let me keep them one below the other. I think it will help. Okay. On finish patient add and on finish search. So let's first look at the on finish search. So this is the function which will be called when the search form gets you know, submitted. It's an inertia get call to the same route where we are passing the parameters. Phone number is values dot phone number. Correct. So let's look at the form then. Now that we have rows, columns, all those things and then add. I'll do this as search by number. Okay. So the form starts over here form equals form search. That's the variable which you now I have destruction from use form. So we add that name is basic. Now then we have the form item. It has only one form item which is phone number because that's the only thing which we require in this particular form, right? So that's there. Validation is also added. And then we have the submit button. This is our first column. Okay, now the um, where is the form submit? Right on finish, as you saw, we have on finish search. So what happens is we are making that page call. Controller sees that there is a request object. It makes this query and patient is available. Now, how are we displaying the patient data? Let's go down. So here I have a conditional rendering of the block. If the patient is available right we create a new row where <clears throat> in this list list item i am showing all the information okay so we have list with size as default item layout vertical list item the key is patient id and here if you see this this is not typical and design but these two icons are coming from this actions inside list item and I really liked it. I mean, you are, you can quite easily add these kind of stuff, you know, to to a list item. Which means, and if you are defining or if you are rendering a list item as a card as well, these things can very easily come come up in the design. Okay, quite easy to do. And then inside this array, we can pass a component which needs to be rendered, obviously. So this is you know an internal component I have created. I'm passing three things, three props, icon, text, and link. Okay, inside the space, I have you know the icon, which is a React create element kind of thing. And then I have inertia link where I'm sending the link and I have the text. So in the end, what happens is we get this. Right now they're tagged to the appointments page, but you get the idea, right? We can link to any place because if we, if I go over here, I have icon. I have text and I have link, which is actually a route. Okay. So these are the two icons I'm passing. Then list item meta. I'm passing the title. I'm passing the description. Okay. And then you know, the patient ID, total visits and last visit. These informations are available over here. Now, the next thing is the second column, which is this. Now, if you remember patient add form was already available to me. What I'm showing over here is actually the same form. 
but I don't want to repeat this form. So what I have done is I did a little bit of refactoring. You can see I have the divider and then there is that patient add form. Patient add form is you know, inside resources. What I have done is I've created a folder called forms and here I have added this component. Okay. And then that form was because it was part of two pages. So there is this patient add inside patient add. If you see, I have removed so many lines of code. If you see the diff, right? And just leave it there. But from 27 till 76 is something which I have removed and I have just added one line of code, which is patient add form. And what I have done inside the patient add form, let's look at that. So obviously the form needs the form object because you know this is how it is declared then form item you know the name the fields will work based on this object right so i'm passing that that as a prop and when the form is submitted what i'm doing is the function which will handle the submit thing right i'm passing that as well i could have kept the submit in the form itself but then i realized that the edit and create are using the same form and hence it made sense to reuse the form but then pass the you know, handler for on finish from the parent component so the form is not really dependent or the form is not deciding where to submit the um, data <coughs> so i have literally copy pasted the entire code over here the same form object i have this labels and initial values and stuff I have the patient name, phone number, age, weight, you know, that's everything that was there in the page component previously. And then I have exported it as an independent component. So as you can see, this page becomes very, very easy to understand. There is only this one function on finish, which is going as a prop. And there's this form, which is also going as a prop. And then we are just taking this component and the same thing. What we are doing is that same component is referenced over here. There's this form patient add. Let me do a little bit of, yeah, right. So we had created two form objects, right? One was the form search and then the second is form patient add. So form patient add is sent and on finish, we have on finish patient add as a function which will handle that value so over here also i have patients dot save okay this code is repeating but i think it is fine this is the only piece which is happening over here because then i'm able to reuse the edit as well okay so that's about it and then one more thing which i'm doing is inside use effect i am putting the phone number because if the phone number is present and if it is not null, then the field is auto populated. As you can see right now it is empty, but if I go to patients, if I search for something, yeah, you can see the text field is already filled in. The reason is if the you know, person makes a mistake while adding the phone number, he can just edit whatever is required and yeah, no results were found obviously for this i'll have to handle the no result but when the when the number is correct the patient's information is present and this obviously is going to work because it's the same form so check new patient phone number is one two three four five six seven eight nine zero fifty five sixty six save okay now this is something which i'll have to again change because I'll show you actually <clears throat> so this is appointment no not the appointment ad but patient ad where is the patient ad da, 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 da. patient save right patient save let's open up web.php because what's happening is on patient ad we are taking the user to the patient list but that's really not the best ux now because you know, initially when we were adding patients from this page, it made sense to take the user back to the patient list. But when I'm over here, that's a problem. So what I'm doing, going to do right now is 
why don't we do redirect back maybe return redirect back let's see home at appointment one more 55 66 hit save and we are here that's fine so i think um at least we are not taking the user to that particular page so after this i still feel that i need to pass a prop in the form so that i can decide where to take that user so maybe you know over here this validation right in the request object i will also take the parameter of which route to redirect to so that from here i think i'll have to take the user to the form which is very similar to two, three. let's say you know book an appointment so i add the patient and then the add appointment form should come when you know, the creation is done and when the search is done i will click book appointment and the context will be there right so that is what we will target to do in the next video but yeah that's about it guys that's how i created these two simple forms as part of the appointment booking flow if you like this video do click on the thumbs up icon and don't forget to subscribe to my channel